Today oh. we're talking about being nude in the mortuary. Well, now, me? No, not you. Oh, <laughs> good. Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Just guess who's dying to know? I'm dying to know. You are. You never say it right anymore. I do. <laughs> um, you can just be here and yeah, be like, he's Carl, just there. Then. Cal's just there. Hi guys, how hello, are you? Hello, 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 hello. What are we talking? I don't know, but you turn into a cockney policeman every time yeah. we start. Oh, cockney policeman. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, what we're talking about today is being nude in the mortuary. Yeah. Now, not as it sounds, not you being nude in the mortuary. Yeah. We had a question from Angela, which I hi think, Angela. hi Angela, which I think would resonate with a lot of people. Now, Angela is 50 and Angela is quite a modest person. Um, and Angela is uh, concerned at the thought of when she passes away, whenever yeah. that may be, that she's going to be nude in the mortuary in front of the mortician. Yeah. And it worries her now. Mm -hmm. So um, she actually asked two questions. That was the first question. Second question was, how do you know how to do all the hairstyles that okay. people come to you? Yeah. Photos, could you match this photo? Could you do yeah. that? Do you yeah. get in a hairdresser or how do you know? Yeah. So let's start with the nudity thing first. Okay, okay. yeah. Um, no, I, I understand that because I'm the same. I don't want to be lying on the mortuary table, everything, you know, exposed. So the ethics we're all taught uh, as morticians and embalmers is to never, ever leave a body lying on a table naked, exposed, ever. So when uh, we're always taught when we uh, take a deceased from the fridge to our prep table um, and we're taking the sheet that they're wrapped in or the body bag that they're in and they've usually either got a hospital gown on or their own clothes on um, what we do is remove them but the first thing we do is we, as we remove and everything we've got the bag off got the sheets on the clothes there we take the clothes off we have modesty cloths that we place you know as they come off so it's a bit like you pull the sheet down so we take the bottom half of say the skirt away or trousers pull them down at the same time putting modesty cloth as we go so it's like when you're at the beach and you've got yeah. your towel wrapped around you yeah. you try and get your swimmers off while your yeah. towels around you yeah well, yeah never works out for me but anyway <laughs> it's, a bit it's of, a bit like that little yes. bit of info. yeah yeah um, and then okay and also our uh, while we're prepping a towel's always across so right the body's never there naked if we were to have to leave the room the towel would be then covering the whole body up over the face and down so nobody would get exposed and then people just don't wander in and out of a mortuary like no other member of staff's allowed in they've got to knock wait and then we make sure that you know the body's uh covered because one it's respect to the person on the table and two we could be doing something quite traumatic that we don't want other people to and see and three they're not in ppe necessarily if they're well, coming that's right. in yeah, and you yeah. don't know what's on the table so that's right yeah yeah so i would hope that uh most of uh morticians and bombers work in their ethics where we're taught everything's covered all of the time and you know once we've uh, washed we're using a towel the towel's always over and then once we're dry a nappy's placed to cover everything there and towels left over until we start dressing the so, other thing i guess angela could do is if you've got a will angela or some last wishes for somebody or if you're planning your own funeral at any stage yeah just make that statement say yeah, you don't absolutely. want to be left naked you're yeah. a very modest person and you want to be covered the whole time please yeah, absolutely make it known and yeah. and you know that's your way of having your input into the whole situation when it does eventually happen yeah yeah not for a long time yet no. but yeah yeah no, so thanks for yeah, that that's it's, it's not like it's not like you see in the movies and things like that it's all very um it's all covered up. sometimes obviously there are procedures that need to happen down in the nether regions um yeah. but they're done respectfully again well, they're aren't done they? respect well yeah so if something was done where i have to you know um there's sort purge of, there's yes, an issue so purge down in the bottom area there's still covers on this so that the covers are slightly raised so i'll lift up and work so there's not i don't just fling everything off and go woohoo let's do this and it's all it's very um respectful because you know i i am aware that these people are you know families loved ones and it could be my you know mum dad brother sister anybody so yeah we're all totally aware that try not to worry it is um 
Their morticians and embalmers are very respectful to a deceased body. They usually look after everybody really, really well. So try not to uh, think about that. In no, the, and like I mean, you said, put it in the wheel. And yeah. actually, if you really think about it, realistically and honestly, you won't know. Yeah. You won't, yeah, you won't be aware. Not. So, And I'm the same. I don't want to be left on the table. I don't think anyone you know, likes I'm, the thought of that. Yeah, I don't want to be, you know, out there. But no one, well, I know you won't be here it's it's um it's very professional and the other question what was that the other question was um about hairstyles and you know might be presented with all different a beehive um you know <laughs> a, a nice formal do with a french roll you might be presented with a you know curly yes. do or a straight do or straightening yeah. or whatever how do you yeah. manage all that variety of um, options that people yeah. might come at you with yeah there's a lot but um Luckily, I am an ex-hairdresser. Oh, I suppose if you're a hairdresser, you're a hairdresser for life, yeah. really, aren't you? Yeah. So, uh, in my situation, I'm a hairdresser, so I can literally turn my head to any hairstyle. That, um, Pardon the pun. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> it's um, turn my hand, not turn my head, but you made it into a joke. I like that. She's clever, this uh, one. So I'm really uh, okay with any hairstyle that's presented with me on a photograph. And I prefer a photograph so I can actually see and try and get the hair exactly the same. But because I'm a hairdresser, I kind of, you can tell the way the hair lies once you've washed it and where it's fallen. So I'm very lucky as in, I, I don't usually have any issues and I can uh, do lots of different hairstyles and, and I have. Um, and when I train people in the mortuary, I, tra I train them, there's a basic rule I can do. And all you've got to do is make sausages in the hair. Just make lots of rolls of sausages and you can do miracles with it and fluff it out. And, you know, what instead do you mean, of sausages? Blow dry sausages into people's hair, especially because, you know, a lot of the old school morticians will just brush, blow dry the hair flat and back. Flat. It's awful. And that looks so, terrible. And it, it looks, looks like terrible. dead person hair. Yeah. So I can train people to blow dry sausages, just rolls of. Oh, okay. Rolled, yeah. And then all you do is tease all them rolls out and it ends up body. body and curls and fluff and it doesn't, it's not flat. Unless grandma wore her hair. Mm. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Unless, you know. That's you why photos to, are important, I yeah, guess. Yeah, and if it's spiky and stuff, you know. And like, you actually retouch colour, don't you, if necessary? Yeah, I've had a lot of, uh, I've, touched, I've coloured lots of hair, like, um... Yeah, it's very it's very common now actually. People are saying, Can you do the roots of the hair? Or could you put this colour on? She's gonna change it, can you do this and that? And I go, Yeah, yeah, spring it in and I'll do it. So I do a lot of colouring and yeah, different hairstyles and all kinds of stuff. And Is that wigs. Okay for well. you to do? Well, um actually as as a hairdresser I had to leave the industry because I'm highly allergic to colour, so but I am in full PPE. So, so that helps. You can't actually helps. do that when you're in a salon doing no, someone's can't. hair. Put on a gown and yeah, a mask and a face put shield. The thing on. So I, I am still protected. So oh, I am. Good. So I haven't had any adverse reactions good. from doing that. So good. that's good. And maybe it's my allergies died down with being out of the business for so yeah. long. You know, maybe not, since not that not constant as, exposure. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah. Hopefully that answered all your questions. Cool. Angela. Thanks yes. for that, the Angela. Yeah, yeah, you look after yourself. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Any other questions you have? Don't hesitate to send them in. We'd love to hear from you again. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. But blast us with your questions. We love it. Blast us. Yes. Woohoo! Okay, guys. Till take, next time. Take care. See bye, bye. See ya.